Delivery for Cinematic Diaries. Ah, sweet. Thank you so much. Hey, Ben, it's here. Ooh, nice. Good catch. <laughs> All right. Let's go. Let's check it out. Yeah. I am so freaking stoked about this. Actually, hang on. Hey, man. Hey, what's up? You can go. You may go? I, I got it. I got it. Yeah. Huh? Okay. Yeah, yeah. no, it's all good. Yeah, no, no worries. That's cool. Yeah, no, I don't know. Maybe I'll, I'll call you later if I need anything. Or... Cool. See ya. See ya. See you later. Yeah. It's always so awkward. I feel bad. Um, this is the Peak Design Charcoal. No, wait. This is the Peak Design version 2 of the Day Pack. Is that what this is called? This is the Everyday Pack by Peak Design. This is the Charcoal 30 liter. This thing is huge. And I'm so excited about unboxing, well, unwrap, un, unpackaging it. That's the right thing. I'm really excited to open it up and just look at it and touch it and smell it. All right, so there is a bit of a prerequisite to this next section of the video. First thing is, this is not sponsored. Peak Design did not send me this backpack. Um, that would have been nice of them, very nice of them, and I kind of wish that they had now. That's the way it goes. The second thing is, this is not a review. I do look forward to making a review video on this backpack here in the next week or so after I've had a chance to use it and figure it out. But for right now, this is just an unboxing, unpackaging. The third thing is, there's a bit of context to what's going on here and I encourage you to go check out this video here of the rucksack the unboxing of the rucksack the brevity rucksack that I did uh, long story short I ended up sending that back I got it for Christmas because I thought this is gonna be the best backpack ever because I need a camera backpack but um, it turns out it just the only thing I didn't like was how small it felt on me I'm 6'2 and it just I looked like a preschooler going to, to school with this really small, tiny backpack, and it just felt weird. Um, I think if I were a bit shorter or smaller, it would have been fine, and I really liked the backpack. That was really the only thing I disliked about it. Um, and if money weren't an issue, I would have just kept it. But I'm still on the search for the perfect backpack. I know I'm not going to find it, and that's okay, but I'm looking for something that is near perfect. So. We'll see how this one is. I think it's gonna be pretty close. I do know for a fact though that it it should be good enough for, like the length of it should be fine for my height and uh, I think it'll feel feel fine. But I just wanted to share all, share all that stuff with you so let's dive right on into the unpackaging. That's really nice. This looks really nice and it feels really nice too. Okay, how do we open this? Is it just pull straight up or do we do that? Sure how to oh there he goes. It's like a latch. Oh, it's magnetic too. That's cool. Okay, alright, 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 alright. There we go. Stay there. You got this side here. Open her up. Look, you can see in it, there's some cubby holes. There's this stuff. Get that out of here. All right, so a couple of things. I have meticulously researched this backpack and compared it even to version one and other backpacks. And some of the things that people were saying was how like this flap doesn't go down far enough. I don't know that, I mean, I feel like that's enough space. 
right? And then there was also a complaint about this thing not staying down. Like it kept coming to that, but like you can just fold it back like that. Maybe if I stand it up, hang on. Yeah, it does kind of have a hard time. Oh, maybe not too bad. But it's not like I'm gonna have it open, like have to keep it open all the time. Um, yeah. Check out the other side here. That goes all the way down there. Oh wait, there's two zippers. Oh, sweet. Guys, I forgot about that. Look, two zippers, one here. I can open it from the top and also open it from the bottom. Maybe that is what people were talking about. Maybe both of these zippers have to be, yeah, I think they both need to be at the bottom. There we go. That buys a little bit more space. But I see what they were talking about, how it doesn't want to like open all the way. Who knows? I don't think we need that. But yeah, there we go guys. There's the 30 liter charcoal gray peak design everyday backpack. I'm really excited to dive into to this and check out all the features. I do want to pull out this one of these. This feels like, I don't know, this feels super legit, super sturdy. It feels futuristic, almost. But, I don't know, I'll have to figure out some sort of contraption. Figure out how I wanna, figure out how I wanna position it, where I wanna put things. I'll have to get to that later. But, for the most part, Make sure it smells okay. That's it. That's there's the backpack. It looks pretty dope. All right, that wraps it up. Uh, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button and subscribe button if you want to see that unboxing here in the near future, maybe in the next few days, week or so. Um, I look forward to making that. But other than that, see you in the next video.